Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on uh, Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon at 5 star gold. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these. Uh, Beth is my all-time favorite female wrestler. Uh, she's incredible. Uh, she wrestles amazingly well. Um, so I wanted to take a look at her at gold, and I know a lot of people, if you don't have like um, Mutant Bailey uh motu becky or um oh shoot i'm drawing a blank on the third one uh the third powerhouse more recent that i can't think of right now um beth and china are probably your next best options so i thought i would do one of her at five star gold i'm going to do two different build sets use two different skill plates i do want to mention that um the next build set um in feud would work quite well with the edges z plate um it won't work for this because there's no way to generate for um countdown jumps so i cannot make it work uh in a in a video like this uh, i would only be able to do it in feud and since this is not my level bath i have bath but not five star gold i cannot do that so uh, i won't be able to show that plate on but it would work in feud with the current perks so Let's take a look. This first one, we're going to use Seamus's plate. Uh, we're set up for red gem damage, red move damage, um, and that sort of thing. Seamus's plate, when you make uh, four more cross break gems, it increases your red gem damage by 150% and your green move damage by 50% for two turns. Um, so we're going to run that for this move set. Glam Slam 12 MP finisher, deal 98k damage and choose a 3x7 area to destroy. Canadian Backbreaker, that's 12 MP on the Glam Slam. Canadian Backbreaker, 9 MP, deal 43k damage and make two random red gems into cross breaks. And the Pendulum Backbreaker, uh, 9 MP, deal 39k damage and choose two cross break gems to destroy. Entourage, uh, 9k Cactus Jack is going to be vital. Um, moves that destroy cross break gems will destroy three more. And moves that generate cross breaks will make two more. Steel for green MP. And then Cena. For that additional uh, cross break uh, gem uh, that makes it so we're making five and choosing five to destroy and then since we're blowing up a bunch of the board Santa Hogan as usual whenever you're blowing up a bunch of the board now let's get out here run this one um, there are no five star gold opponents on the road uh, best I can do is Hall of Fame uh, Nikki Bella Hall of Fame gets a bonus she has almost two million hit points and it is a class um, disadvantage for us as well so that's the best i can do so that's what we're going to do you i do have two perks plus three mp plus two um on a match so normally you would need a green match turn one in feud to make this work um but um for this i don't need that so just know that because we didn't get our green match in feud, you would not be ready to go without it. Bella drops in a five match. No surprise. It's the AI right to her finisher. Get some red gems in there. Hopefully, yep, that'll work. So we're going to make our cross break gems, and because there's at least four, that's going to make the edge plate go off and buff our red gem damage way up. Uh, 37,000 per red, so that's going to help quite a bit. And then we're going to choose them to break. We also get the boost on the move damage of 50%. Not a ton, because their greens aren't huge and heavy, but, you know, something's better than nothing. Oh, so close to a good Cascade. So, just kind of missed. So, we missed filling the finisher, too. Um, so, that's kind of a bummer. On the plus side, though, we do have a green match, uh, which will set us up quite nicely for the next turn. And I'm going to run this one again. I'm going to run each build set twice um, so you guys get an idea. Not cherry picking, just taking the matches as they come, dealing with boards, mistakes by me, etc. At this point, I think you guys are pretty familiar with that's kind of standard for me. Uh, I'm not interested in showing you 
uh, everything in a perfect scenario, just realistic. And sadly, we have no red gems, hardly. So we are not going to be able to boost them. It's just quite a bummer. So we're going to leave that destroy full for now. Probably don't need to. Um, but we can pick up one cross break. This has more greens in the area, so I think I'm going to go with this one. A little bit of a cascade. Okay, so again, I don't feel like that was a good... That was pretty bad. Uh, bad board. Things didn't go quite right. Um, I would say that's worse than it normally will play by a fair amount. So hopefully this one is at least uh, average to good, so you guys can see that. And it's possible I'll even do three matches if uh, this one is an anomaly as well. So this one, easily have the green match. Lots of reds on the board. I want to stay away um, from this. Well, this is fine. Get those off of the same level. So 16k on the reds before the cross break move, and then 37 after. So substantial boost. So those reds end up being spicy. Okay, spread on the gems, it could definitely be better. The plus side is we will certainly pick up every red gem on the board and we'll get a bunch of greens as well, which is quite nice. So almost 700k, all the moves are recharged. So even if she kicks out there, even we have enough reds that instead of hitting the finisher, we could buff it again and it would get even bigger. So I would say that one was a, a good indicator of how it would will go a fair amount of the time. I don't think uh, 700k is that out of the question uh, to be normal. So let's take a look at the next move set. Uh, first things first, I'm going to change out the plate uh, because um, the edge plate only works in feud. I'm going to go ahead and put two words for you on it. I think that works pretty okay for this one. Uh, cheap shot would also be doable. The rest of the strap we're going to leave alone. We're going to bring in both blacks. And the 4 MP red. Slingshot suplex, 8 MP black, deal 58k damage, choose one gem to make into a 7 turn countdown gem that will do 0 damage and make 21 gems into blast gems. Indian Deathlock surfboard, place 6 submission gems and do 12k damage for 6 turns, remaining turn into multiplied gems of strength 2. Then the military press drop, deal 23k damage and decrease your countdown gem timers by 6. Um, so the idea is hit the countdown, hit the sub, next turn hit this, blow up the board. Um, for this build, JBL is really important because you're making most of the board blast gems. Uh, you can alternatively remove JBL in feud and start with the sub turn one. Uh, you will do less damage for sure. But you will be turn one with the sub to drain their MP. So give and take. And in feud, you wouldn't necessarily need Cena. Uh, for the extra countdown gem, because you'll be making four anyway. Um, I'm blind. Let's just do it this way. What the heck? Uh, don't mind me. I can't talk and do two things at once, apparently. There we go. Um, yes. So, 
You wouldn't necessarily need him because you're making so many, you'd be making 80 some blast gems, so he would just be redundant. Uh, someone like Lacey for gem damage there, or uh, since the whole board's blast gems, maybe Typhoon, maybe Ray. In reality, though, uh, probably Sammy with 50% blast gem damage would be the play. So in Feud, I would switch this to NWO Ted, this to Sammy, and I would leave Hogan because you're blowing up the entire board. That's 2200 on every uh, gem. Um, so Sammy, Hogan, and then um, NWO Ted, and the Z Edge played in Feud is how I would change this for Feud. But I can't simulate that for you guys, sadly. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, and that would be a lot of damage, I think, in Feud. You'd sub turn one, so they shouldn't hit you, and then turn two, big kablooey, with the current perks. And you'd also be putting out, like, four of these countdown gems, very little chance of them being broken. We're putting two, so also very little chance if we put them on those. And then for multiply gems, ideally... Uh, recycling the black would be great. So putting them on black it would be good. And also, you know, maybe on red because that's their best. Um, so maybe most on black, some on red. In case uh, we should need to recycle. And now we're about to blow up the board. You can see we saved a couple of those uh, cross breaks. So that's just going to make sure the entire board goes boom. Cheap shot would also be great if you can't use the zombie edge plate for tours. But you can see, I mean, that's a hard hit. That's uh, a million. So imagine that with Z-Edge Plate buffing all the gem damage and giving you the the two turns on the countdown. Or not the countdown, on the gem defense uh, in Feud. Uh, plus Sammy, 50% on the blast gems. Um, I think that would certainly be the ticket and make her a fantastic feuder. Because uh, turn one, you're doing the sub. Uh, so to me, that's kind of the go-to. Assuming you have the zombie edge plate and want to feud with her. Also keep in mind in Feud, it would buff the <clears throat> Multiply Gems to times 4 so there is that as well. That's super unfortunate. Um, putting the Countdown Gems on a loot box and we lost them. That is almost never happens. I don't think that happened all the times I was uh, I was testing it. So that's a big bummer. Um, very big bummer. Maybe we'll get a little no no cooperation yet. I'm sure, she's gonna do that. Yep. Yeah. All right.
And I'm not super concerned about the multiply gems in general. We just, uh, the countdown gems is about all we care about, right? And this should be another quite large hit. Uh, no two words this time, but we still should manage to blow up the whole board. It'd have to be super unlucky. I mean, you can see with this much of the board, you'd have to be super, super unlucky. Like, I don't even know if it's possible kind of unlucky. Again, over a million damage. So, yeah, I think that build set is great. And then in Feud, uh, sub in uh, Sammy for Cena and NWO Ted for JBL. Then you can start turn one, put out four countdowns, get the zombie edge plate to go off. Um, yeah, I think that's really good, honestly. Um, given the right setup like that, what we were just talking about, I think that would that would be very strong and you'd be able to slow them turn one because the sub and then big boom um, turn two. So you would lose some damage switching out JBL. As he's doing 100% more on Blast Gems, you would gain a bunch of it back here, 50% uh, of it. So I don't think you would lose that much. And then the Zombie Edge Plate, if you're not familiar with the Z Plate. Whenever you make four mount more Countdown Gems, increase your gem damage by 50%. So that would equal, we'd still be doing the same damage, but then we'd get two turns of your opponent's gem reduction reduced by 35% for two turns. Um, so you get the best of both worlds there, um, and I think that would do quite well. So anyway, guys, that is Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon. Like I said, been a while since I've done one of these. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it makes uh, your decision easier if you're lacking uh, one of those super, super good uh, female powerhouses, because she is really solid with a lot of potential. Um, and let's just take a look real quick, because I cannot, for the life of me, remember that third powerhouse. Uh, for females and it's driving me crazy so because I know I should oh yeah zombie Ripley because I'm building her I don't know how I forgot about that so anyway uh, if we look at this my opinion on Beth um, if you're lacking Bailey uh, Ripley or Bex um, I think she would be my go-to there's more than one China for only China options there's only one Beth so that, and especially if you have the Z plate for Feud and NWO Ted, uh, I would go her over China currently. Now, assuming you have the the Blast Gem plate, the Sika plate, the Colossal Titan, I think it's called. I mean, then China's going to hit harder. But you could also put that plate on Beth, and she's making an entire board. Uh, so then I think Beth's going to hit harder still. So um, I think Beth's the way to go there um, if you don't have one of those three. So... For a lot of people, I think she's your best female powerhouse. Anyway, guys, hope this video is helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there.